I grew up with three brothers and a father who loved to... The dinner table was a time for argument. It was a time to take on a problem or a puzzle and discuss it and argue about it. And I was expected to have a strong opinion and to put it forward as strongly as my brothers did. So I think that attitude in, in my growth put me in a good place when I found myself the only girl in the class. I wasn't afraid to speak up. And I didn't think I had to suppress my ideas so they'd like me. Because actually I didn't care mostly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I don't know, sociology, some piece of the way girls are raised and boys are raised differently that rubs off on this reticence at putting yourself forward and lack of self-confidence. You take kids at the same level of math performance and you ask them, are they good at math? And the girls say no, and the boys say, yes, I'm very good. <laughs> I didn't start with the confidence that I'm really good. In fact, when I was a graduate student and struggling with the idea of did I belong in physics, I wrote a little poem. It said, a scientist, what rot. I never will be more than that which I cannot admit that I am for. So clearly I was struggling with the idea that was I the one who could be this scientist? Even at the same time, I was working very hard to become it. I think men and women go through that in graduate school, but women tend to have a harder time of it because women tend to underrate themselves more than men do. That's just the nature of the beast. And then there's a threshold where you get past where people look at the work and it's no longer an issue. You just one of the people who can do this. And then it becomes almost irrelevant what your gender is because you're contributing and other people are contributing and the conversation is about that and not about who you are. There are always a few exceptions <laughs> that, <laughs> that you just avoid. <laughs> so now I'm retired, I'm spending most of my time on science education. Uh, I think I've grown into it. You never know your impact on somebody else. You never know when you have that chance. The teacher said to me, one of the girls came up to him after it and said, I think I could be a physicist. Before I thought I had to be an engineer. <laughs> and, and he said, and she could too. So <laughs> that was great. One girl decided, yes, it's okay for me to be a physicist because I went and talked to, 20, you know, to a group of kids. That's, that's one of the impacts I like to have.